Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're gonna be talking about our other mining facility here. It's just been finished up. It runs on 100 amps at 480 volts. So we just finished up all the rigs, it's fully loaded. Um, we're gonna be waiting for more power to arrive here in the next maybe month or two so we can load up the rest of these racks. But if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to manage a ASIC or GPU mining farm or if you're looking to buy yourself some GPUs like 3070, 3080, 3090, you can check out our Excel spreadsheet there. We've got all the prices and quantities. All right, so let's get started. Here's our farm here. And like I said, it's fully loaded. So we got a total of five rigs, a rack. So it's five, 10, 15. 20 and then 21 22 23 24 25 so we got 25 rigs here and they're running at 14 gpus each uh there's a there's a rig there at the bottom that only has 12 but most of them have 14 gpus so it's fully loaded here um we're gonna be waiting for an additional 100 amps so we can add another 25 rigs but until then um we have to kind of just use or just run it as it is uh, until that upgrade in the near future. Most of the cards we have here are a mixture of various 3080s, most of them. There are some 3080 Ti's and a couple of 3090s. I'll show you around here. Um, some of these are a mixture of LHR and non-LHR. You can see different cards. We have some tough MSI's, some EVGA for the Win 3's, some EVGA Black. Um, we see we got some uh, Supers right there. Um, a lot of Zotacs. We have some Gigabyte cards, uh, Gigabyte Turbos here, and uh, Gigabyte 3 Fan cards here. So most of them are 3080s, like I said, um, <clears throat> with an additional 3090 and 3080 Ti. Here's a 3090 right here, FE, Ti's down there at the bottom, FE, Ti's, and so on. So if you're looking for someone to manage something like this for you, set it up from start to finish, um, go to CryptoLLC.org. You can see how we're holding down uh, the racks so they don't tilt or fall. They're held down by these uh, two by fours here. See those two by fours? And then those two by fours uh, also run our ethernet there at the top. Um, this rack here, like we have uh, some racks placed for now. This you see they're empty. They're just waiting for more electricity to come in. Once that electricity comes in, we'll start filling in those spots like one, two, three, you know, four, five, and then we got five over here, that's 10, and then 15, 20, and then we'll put another rack somewhere down here. And um, <clears throat> that would be uh, that additional 25 more on that 100, 100 amp, 480 volt. So that's how we plan on doing it. Um, in terms of intake, so we have this tarp system installed here. So this tarp system, Basically what it does is we're directing the airflow from the fans. We don't want the airflow to kind of circulate right around this area and then get you know, sucked back out. We want to direct the cold air right onto the rigs. So they're hitting these first layer here and the second layer there. Then the hot air will circulate or go up over the tarp and then get sucked out by those fans on that side over there. We also installed some little air um, air uh, airflow directional airflow like fins you see that right there we're testing it out seeing how that works so why we why are we doing that is because we don't want the airflow to come off the edges of the fan and hit the edges we want it to actually flow forward and have all of that flow hit the the uh the rigs so again we're still testing things out so we got some wires laying around and we got you know like this this one right here, it's just we're just testing it out for now. Once we once we have our finalized results, then we're going to finalize our extension cores, all that stuff that we need, or maybe just run some conduits. You can see the tarps on the top, sides, two fans. You know, so far so good, but we'll see how it goes. And as we get closer to summertime, maybe we might extend the tarp all the way out to maybe this one. Might add more fans, more fins, and things like that to kind of make it work. But right now, this is how we run it. So yeah, so this farm is pretty much finished. Um, <clears throat> waiting for more electricity. Once that electricity has been applied here or has been set up, then we will expand an additional 25 rigs 
here, and then we're going to double. Basically, we're, we're going to be doubling our, uh, <clears throat> our rigs at this location, so we're going to need double the airflow and all that other stuff. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to Crypto LLC if you're looking for someone to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, or if you want to buy yourself some GPUs or other uh, mining uh, equipment like power supplies and things like that, CryptoLLC.org. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. we got other videos coming up for you guys, other farms. So make sure you guys are all subscribed. And until next time, bye.